welcome to the lab session on uh, data optimization techniques today we will try to implement uh, the fibonacci series using recursive function so the logic for recursive Fibonacci function is written with the help of a function. So here we are using the exit condition as if n is less than equal to 1 you are returning the value. So the in the else part you are calling the recursive function or the same function two times. So let us see the what is the formula for that for what is recursive function. So the Fibonacci series is it starts from first two digits 0 1. So the third digit it depends upon the sum of the previous two digits. So what is the 0 plus 1 1. Similarly the value at fourth place depends upon the sum of previous two numbers. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Similarly the next value it depends upon the sum of previous two numbers so that is 3 5 8 8 means 5 plus 3 so like this the series go on so while writing the program you have to uh, you have to write the program in such way that it should ask the user how many numbers you have to print so enter the numbers. So if I type 5 means, so it should print, the program should print the output as like this. So let us see in that way. So if you see this, the formula for this Fibonacci series is the number at nth place, it depends upon f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 sum of previous two number. So, 8 value it depends upon the last two digits 5 plus 3. So, this is what we implemented here. So, for reading the number of terms we have used this statement. So, you can use the function read line and uh, you can see how it executes. Let us first execute this function recursive function and after that we will execute line by line. So say for example if I print 8 means that means I want 8 digits. I want the Fibonacci series at 8 terms. So now I entered so the number will be stored here. So now we have to execute this code and you can see the output. We are printing the Fibonacci series up to length 8. That means uh, your program should get the input uh, the length of the Fibonacci series 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. So you can see this 13. Okay. So here we are getting the Fibonacci series of length 8. So please try to execute it. 